I'm turning now to some sad news we learned today. Legendary Michigan political activist and poet John Sinclair passed away this morning at the age of 82. Sinclair, known for his efforts to promote local writers, uh, his support for the civil rights movement, and also his push to legalize marijuana. Victor Williams live with more on this. Victor, a lot of folks feeling a big loss here in the community. Yeah, that's right, David and Kimberly. This man will truly be missed. He has seen and fought for so much over the course of his life. He was anti-commercial to the core, if you will, um, and just believed in equality and, and peace. Marijuana activist, poet, and overall Detroit legend John Sinclair has passed away. He and attorney Matthew Abel worked together on passing Proposition 1 to legalize cannabis in Michigan. I think John would like to be remembered as a poet and a musician, someone who wasn't afraid to go against the grain and to not do what was popular, but to do what was right. The 82-year-old Flint native spent most of his life advocating for the rights of marijuana users and basic civil rights for minorities. At one point, he was the leader of the Radical White Panthers. John um, was able to uh, insert himself, if you will, into the black community back when very few white people did that. A man can get 12 years prison for the possession of marijuana. One of the biggest influences, however, came from the many notable celebrities often dedicating their work to him and his cause, including John Lennon. This song I wrote for John Sinclair. Sinclair died on April the 2nd in Detroit receiving hospital from an apparent case of congested heart failure. Decades ago, prior to marijuana becoming legal anywhere in the U.S., two joints led to the incarceration of Sinclair back in the 1960s, which fueled his passion for cannabis rights, which would later lead to the inception of the hash bash. And that is just a couple of days away here. So I'm sure this hash bash will be quite a remembrance and a memorial to John. And we are sure that it will. We know that Mr. Sinclair leaves behind two daughters as well as a granddaughter. Victor Williams. Okay, Victor, thank you.